Now we shall take up the general characteristics of the elements. The first one is physical state. Oxygen is a gas while sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium are solids at room temperature. The next property is metallic character. Oxygen and sulfur are strongly non-metallic while selenium and tellurium are weakly non-metallic. Tellurium is a semi-metal that is metalloid. Polonium is a metal. The metallic character increases from oxygen to polonium. Now we shall study the atomicity of chalcogens. Oxygen is diatomic. O2. Sulfur, selenium and tellurium are octaatomic. S8, Se8 and Te8. They have puckered ring structure. This structure is shown here. The covalent radius increases from oxygen to tellurium. Ionization energy. The ionization energy gradually decreases from oxygen to polonium. Electronegativity. The electronegativity gradually decreases from oxygen to polonium. The next property is electron affinity. The values of electron affinity decrease from oxygen to polonium. Now we shall study the density of these elements. The density increases from oxygen to polonium. The next property is melting and boiling points. The melting and boiling points increase from oxygen to tellurium. The large difference in melting and boiling points between oxygen and sulfur is due to the fact that oxygen exists as diatomic molecules while sulfur exists as octaatomic molecules. Now we shall take up oxidation states in this group. All the elements of 6a group exhibit minus 2, plus 2 and plus 4 and plus 6 oxidation states. But oxygen exhibits minus 2 state only except with fluorine when it shows plus 2 in OF2 and plus 1 in O2F2. The multiple oxidation states in sulfur, selenium, tellurium and polonium are due to the availability of d orbitals in the valency shell of their atoms. You can see in detail the ground state electronic configuration where you find plus 2 state and first excited state configuration where you find plus 4 state and the second excited configuration where you find plus 6 state.